What makes this place so special? Snow-capped mountain ridges surrounding the town of Aspen. Yeah, it's very cool. Let me get it up here real quick. It's the same terrain that puts this place at risk of wildfire. So this one, this camera on top of Ajax, this is looking back towards town. This is looking up here, you know, if you get a lightning strike, we've had lightning strikes up here above Red Mountain in the past. From his office. This is a ski area. This is actually snow mass right here. Aspen Fire Chief Rick Ballantyne can scan the skyline. What happens is we get a report of a smoke call. And get smoke alerts virtually. It's funny, my, my wife called it smoke detectors in the sky. Aspen joined a pilot project this year with a California-based company called Pano AI. So every large fire starts as a small fire. From the top of four different lookout points, a pair of cameras scans a 360 degree view while evolving artificial intelligence looks for signs of smoke. Being able to quickly and accurately detect and inform stakeholders makes it safer for them to respond and gives them the actionable intelligence to respond with the right amount of resources. Any possible smoke found by the AI is then verified by real people with Pano before the system then alerts the fire department with visuals and a precise location kind of like a dispatch center. Clicking on, you can see the smoke column right there, you know, where we can actually see it, you know, instead of wasting 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 minutes or more to get there to see if it's really a fire, mm -hmm. we can look in there and go, holy crap, that's a fire. Pano is testing cameras in California and Montana too. The tech isn't perfect yet. The pilot project is about letting the AI learn and Colorado's colorful landscape has been a helpful teacher. This company's from California. In California, what they found is there's not a lot of color. When the trees started changing color, it, the camera kind of go, oh my gosh, what is that, what is that? Today, we're seeing a backdrop where you've got smoke incidents that are being picked up where there is peaks that are covered by snow. And that's not what we're seeing in Northern California or what we're seeing in Southern California. And so Colorado has played a really important role in helping train the AI. One of our hopes with this is that we can help them build this system to a point where it becomes widely available um, so that it can be employed throughout the country. Jake Anderson is Aspen Fire's Deputy Chief of Operations. We can't overemphasize that the fire problem in the state of Colorado has changed so dramatically over the past 20 years that we need to explore new options um, to solve a problem that's very different than it was when I started or when he started. The fact that it could have saved lives or property, to me, you know, it's worthwhile. Protecting this place and what makes it special. As fires evolve in Colorado. Right there where the, arrow, the orange arrow is. So too does firefighting. As far as I'm concerned, I'm all in. In Aspen, Jennifer Meckles, 9 News.